Welcome to Let's Build a Wheelies Jeep. This will be a video going over how to install your front drive shaft onto your Wheelies Jeep that will attach to the front axle and connect to your differential yoke and run the length of the Jeep back into your transfer case yoke. I am now going to go over the components required for your front drive shaft install. This right here is your physical front drive shaft fully assembled here. Make sure you check out my other video referring how to align your splines on your propeller shaft and slip yoke and also how to install your dust cap and oil seal. Just, if you haven't watched that video, I guess the key takeaway is to make sure that your propeller shaft and drive shaft are in line with each other. So you want this component and that component to be in line. And that ensures that your drive shaft is properly balanced. Over here are the other components required for the proper installation of your front drive shaft onto your Willys Jeep. First, make sure you have some high temperature bearing grease. These right here are your four splicer style universal joint U-bolts. And each of them have a lock washer and a fine thread nut on all four of your U-bolts. And over here are your splicer style drive shaft universal joints. And these right here are actually your bearings that will ride on your splicer style drive shaft universal joints and that will be connected to your U-bolts that will actually hold your drive shaft in place. The first step is to apply some of your high temperature grease onto your universal joints here. Just give a nice light, light coating on all four of these parts. Now it's time to pack your bearings with the grease. Just get a good amount of grease on your finger here and just put it into your bearings and just kind of work it in. If you have to put more grease in there, do so. You wanna ensure that this moves nice and smoothly. With everything now greased, we can assemble part of our front drive shaft. We're gonna put our bearings on to our universal joints. Now slide your bearings onto your joints and just push them on and give it a nice little spin. Just make sure everything moves nicely and it does. Repeat the same process for all the other three joints, installing each bearing. Last step here is to apply some more grease to the outside of your bearings because this is where your U-bolts will ride against. So nice coating around all four bearings. Apply some grease to both of the yokes on your Jeep. Put some grease in the inside here where the bearing will ride. Once you have fully greased all of the moving components, it is now time to install your front drive shaft. But it's important that we install it in the correct direction. So you want to have it installed so your slip yoke is facing towards the transfer case and attached to your transfer case yoke. And the longer part of your front drive shaft is connected to your differential yoke. When installing your drive shaft, all you have to do is insert your bearings into your yoke, and now it will sit there, and now we will put on our U-bolts. All U-bolts are installed the same, so I'll show you just how to do one. With your U-bolt, insert it through the holes on your yoke, push it all the way in. Now install your lock washer and nut onto your U-bolt. Finally tighten down your nut between 15 and 18 foot-pounds. 
torque your four U-bolts on your differential side and your four U-bolts on your transfer case. Tighten down all your nuts and that is how you install your front drive shaft. Thanks for watching Leftable Willie's Jeep and make sure to subscribe.